just, I just feel life is hugely overrated. Um, <laughs> I know, actually, it's, it's always quite weird. Scotland comes top of these how happy are you with your life studies. And I think that's because researchers don't really understand sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think, you know, do you, do, you ever just, do you ever just open your eyes in the morning and go, not this again? <laughs> you know, if someone said to you, oh, we'll go and see a movie that was like the day of your life, you know, it's going to be 16 hours long, nothing really happens, and in the middle, the main character has to go for a poo. <laughs> You probably wouldn't go. And it peaks, it peaks early. Life peaks at about 12, maybe. And then it just starts to get worse and worse. And I'm now, like, 44. I've got a body like a dropped lasagna. <laughs> Women look at my naked body in the same fearful way that pensioners look at snow. <laughs> and we've all just got to kind of... We've got to make it through... <laughs> Having, having had the high points of life already, you know, by the time you reach a certain age, you've, you've heard your favourite song, you've met the person you love the most. There's nobody who's 65 sitting about going, well, that Angry Birds movie is the film I've waited all my life for. <laughs> and you, there's almost no consolation. <laughs> so, we're, so we're supposed to say, oh, you know, life's about love, loving people and being loved in return and that. I think, really, we're in relationships because we don't want to die alone. <laughs> which is why I've always planned on taking quite a lot of people with me. <laughs> you know, if someone gave you a drug that was love and warned you what the withdrawal was going to be like, you wouldn't take it. As soon as you take this, it's amazing, but afterwards you're going to feel like you're having open-heart surgery performed by a swarm of wasps. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do it. <laughs> You see, Nicola, you don't get this on a question of sport. <laughs> um, I mean, we're, we're having a, a lovely time, aren't we? Professional comedians and all that. This is sort of just a distraction for it, isn't it, for people? What is life? No, the show, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe it's just me, but I, um, I, I, I'm quite chirpy about it all. Like, for example, here's the thing. I, I'm right-handed, and so um, cutting the nails on my right hand with my left hand I find quite tricky. So what is I do, I do that hand first, and then I've got the easy bit to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's how you have to construct life. So, it's all, you know, you're always... Um, deferred gratification. You're always looking forward to the next peak. That was like Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, but, I mean, it's probably better than death. Is oh, it? a lot better. To be honest, I was just having a hard week when they asked me to choose the thing. <laughs> <laughs>